team and everything. A couple more of the days in. Uh, I would like to now call up our general evaluator for the evening, Tiffany. Everyone, so I will be as a general evaluator. I will be evaluating the evaluators, which is Marcos for Anthony or Emily for Anthony. Marcos, sorry. Marcos, yeah, he's the evaluate for Anthony, and then Barbara for Kevin. So yes, with Emily for Kevin. Yeah. Okay, so Emily. Have to switch up. Okay. Well, yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah, we're, we had a slight change because we had speakers drop out. So we're having our first evaluator do Anthony, our second one evaluate me, and then our third evaluate both. It's a little, a little different. Okay, so without further ado, can I call up Marcos? How are you guys doing? All right. Um, I had the pleasure of evaluating Anthony. Uh, it's always a pleasure for me to hear him speak. He's uh, very eloquent and very experienced. He seemed very comfortable up here. Um, to start off though with the topic selection, I agree with Anthony that it was a difficult choice. So his topic choice was definitely interesting and I felt like it, he did a great job of keeping everyone sort of in suspense. They all kind of wanted to know what was going to happen next. I liked how the story uh, was very funny. It's very difficult to keep people laughing, and I thought he did a great job with that. Anthony may hate me a little bit because it's a little difficult for me to uh, say anything critical about his speech because he did such a great job. So I don't have a whole lot of criticism. Unfortunately, I tried. I really reached deep. But Make fun of the way he looks or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was dressed sharp, so I uh, obviously enjoyed him. <laughs> Let's see what else. I also liked uh, <clears throat> how honest the story was. I thought that Anthony did a good job of sort of giving us a little bit of insight into his character when he talked about how he saw this violent man beating the seagull outside and he did rush to go out there and see what was happening to sort of avoid any kind of potentially violent confrontation with a seagull beater. <laughs> so I thought he did a great job of that. Volume was very good. Obviously, uh, the topic um, was uh, vocal variety, so I thought he did a great job of changing his tone when it was necessary and, and speaking loud enough for everyone to hear. The rate was excellent. Uh, he used the uh, pauses appropriately and effectively, in my opinion. Very good expressions, great eye contact with everybody. I thought it was organized. He, he kept with the story and, and didn't fumble and, and finished uh, strong. And uh, body language is good. I think Anthony West has good body language. He walks around a little bit, uses his hands, he's very expressive, and, and I tend to like that. And that's about it. Thank you.
And for me, uh, what really motivated me was um, I really enjoyed how calm he was. Because for me, when I give out speeches, I just get anxiety and my head just gets very clustered and I don't, I can't really think clearly. So I liked how comfortable he was. And I just really um, thought that that was really good. So yeah, overall, good job. Thank you. evaluator because I kind of missed Marco's Marcos's evaluation but on um, Anthony's speech because I was kind of caught in between. But I think what I did hear, what I did catch was some of the positive points about Anthony's speech and I totally agree with you. I think very much what like Barbara says that Marcos also has a really calm nature up here and it's very paced, well paced and you kind of use the sandwich method just like Barbara did which is exactly what Kevin talked about up here today. It was the perfect kind of segue into that. But I definitely loved all those points. What I did hear was Barbara's evaluation of, of Kevin. And I liked how she hit on the point that the things that she liked a lot. And I think the things that, you know, was strong to her also was strong to the audience about Kevin's speech, which I definitely agree. You know, he didn't have any notes. He up, when he, he was up here, he was calm. It was like in a well-prepared manner, even though it was you know, we had missing speakers today. We we're kind of like struggling in the beginning, but he, you know, he pulled through, and his speech was, you know, you couldn't even know, notice the difference. As a whole, I think the meeting was really well, went really well today. I think John's table topics were a lot of fun. I mean, everyone got to, you know, participate a little bit. So, you know, kind of brings us all together. And I think that is about it. Postmaster. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 